here, Jill. Everybody. It is National <laughs> Red Wine Day, Rosie. Yeah. <laughs> I see you over there. I was so excited. I just had to get it started, girlfriend. Totally fine with me. We are kicking off the weekend. We're here to have a whole lot of fun. And Steph, you're already kind of showing off the prototype, the cool like little invention that we've gotten our hands on, which I am really excited to talk to you about for National Red Wine Day. Well, I'm super excited about this too. Now, when local couple Lisa and Randall Pollock dropped this off at my door, I had no idea what was going on. I was like, what are they handing me? What is this thing? As they started to explain like the bow chill, I know I was like, this is life changing. Now you guys, what this handy little number does is it takes away the need to actually use like the metal tumblers to keep wine cool or, you know, the little plastic ice cubes, all the things. Plus we're in Texas heat. So this little baby just pops into the freezer and after a couple hours, you just chuck it in the handle here and you put your stemmed wine glass just like so. And it keeps the temperature like a perfect temperature, Rosie. So red wine isn't meant to be drank at room temperature here in Texas, which is like that anywhere is from so 70 surprising. to 100 yeah. degrees. Girlfriend, um, room temperature like back in the old days was like a castle or a cellar temperature. So when we think room temperature bottles of wine, we think, okay, fine, we'll just take it off the shelf and we'll drink it. You guys, we got a little challenge for you. So when you actually drink some wine, the next time you open a bottle, um, pop a glass. If you don't have one of these bad boys yet, cause we're going to tell you how you can get one soon, but pop a glass into the fridge for like 12 minutes or so. And then also pour a glass that's room temperature, taste the two. They're going to taste like they're from totally different bottles because again, yeah. when wine was invented way back in the old days, cellar temperature, castle temperature was a heck of a lot cooler than right here in Texas. So, um, this is just such a neat little product where you can, you know, put it next to you in the bathtub, in the kitchen while you're cooking. And you can either <laughs> cool your wine before, or you can just set it in here and let it cool down. Um, it's going to take a little bit of time to cool down while it's in the glass. So I prefer, you know, to maybe pop the wine in the freezer for about eight minutes, your red wine bottles, uh, and then pour a glass and it's going to keep it at a great temperature row. But it's also, if it's getting a little too chilled for you, you can take it out and let it sit and then put it back in when you're ready. Um, it's also great for obviously white wines, sparkling wines, because those are ones that we really do want to keep very nice and cool. But again, local company, Vo Chill, and it's, um, it's like I said, Ro, going to be life changing for me. Now, not only do I use this bad boy on a regular basis, I also sent my husband out to the garage to do his welding or he just goes out there and does it. And Takes us he with was him. drinking wine. I put it out there. There's like fire and sparks and all the things going. And he was able to keep the wine chilled and drink it at a perfect temperature. Because when it comes to wine, we're not super snobby, but I like my wine to be right, you know? So sure. he was using the Vogue Chill out in the garage while like playing with fire. And it kept his wine at a super perfect temperature. So Cheers to this, cheers to Red Wine Day, cheers to Vogue Chill. Uh, Rosie, I understand we did get the prototype. However, folks can pre-order these bad boys online right now, right? Yeah, and actually pre-ordering is where it's at. By the way, uh, Stephanie does like to chill her stuff down, but I talked to the founding couple as well, the Pollocks, and they said, uh, from room temperature, stick a glass in one of these puppies for 10 minutes and you're at the right temp. So. If you're Ooh. hosting, maybe for the family, something like that, you don't even really have to have thought of it beforehand. Just pop those suckers in. <laughs> and it's going to be the right so good. And Love you're right, Steph. So they're offering um, pre-sales right now on their website with a discount, 20% off. So that Ooh, is going to be the final, yeah, the final product and something that they've really gotten excited about because apparently everybody around them saying, why didn't anybody think about this before? Not only that, they're going to be doing it in a couple of different colors. So quartz, blush, sand, and stone. I asked, can you buy all four colors? And it looks kind of like a mix and match dinnerware setup. Uh -huh. And they said, absolutely. It's going to look really good all together. This is a really good holiday gift and very Austin centric. If you guys already want to start thinking about that. So love it. On that note. Yeah. Because let's talk about the red wine. We're what's in this glass? Yeah. 
Yeah, Yay. we're drinking the 2018 Hunter High Plains from William Chris Vineyards. And you guys know we are big fans of William Chris on the show. This is 72% mm-hmm. uh, Merlot and 28% Malbec. And I think you brought it up Ooh. for good reason, Steph, because this is going to be a really good holiday wine. What I didn't know about this, but I've just learned, is that this was from a year, hot temps and low rainfall. Sounds like Texas, right? But oh, it makes perfect. for really good yeah. vintage wines. And this one has been aged about two years in oak fermenters and in oak barrels. And the reason we're drinking it is really in celebration because cheers to you, Chris Brundrett of William Chris Vineyards, co-owner and wine grower. Just named on Wine Enthusiast 40 Under 40 list, which is really cool, uh, and is the first one from Texas. He said he's really excited, Steph, that they're kind of thinking outside the box with Wine Enthusiast now, and they're taking a look at these newer regions like we've got in the Hill Country and giving a little bit of love. So congratulations to you, Chris. You do know Huge how to make a good wine. Huge cheers to Chris. <laughs> Sure does. I'm with you on that, Rosie. Now, Rosie, you sound very skilled in your red wine lingo in everything you just fed to us. However, okay, that's true. I'm going to test your knowledge, okay? That was yeah. great. That was a wonderful rundown holiday wines. You said everything correctly, but let's get to sort of Do the really juice of what's in the glass, okay? Yep. Uh, these are kind of fun. They're, st- they're things we haven't really discussed before. So keeping it simple on you, this is true or false. So True or False wrote, red wine is one of the healthiest fruit juices out there. To get the same amount of antioxidants you'll find right here in this glass, you need to drink 20 glasses of apple juice or seven glasses of OJ. Is that true or is that false? I mean, the numbers seem crazy, but I'm going to go for it. I'm going to say that's true. This is true, Rosie. Drink to that. Cheers to the best fruit juice (laughs) out there. You guys, this is very healthy. Uh, Okay, (laughs) let me try and get through another one or two for you here. Drinking old or aged red wine is better for your health than drinking young red wine. Now, we hear a lot about old aged wine. Better? Worse. Mm -hmm. I think because this one's got two years that it's been hanging out in barrels, it tastes delicious, so I'm going to say true. This is false. So. Old wines, old wines. Now we're not talking two years, but old wines are actually gonna lose some of their healthy components, antioxidants, all the different goodness that's in the wine throughout years of aging. So the younger the red wine you're drinking, the more health benefits it'll actually have. One more rosy, red wine grapes can't be made into white wine. Is this true or false? Red wine grapes, no, that's false because it's the skin, right? Yes. And so they can. I have learned something from you. (laughs) You have. So I'm going to give you a big fat cheers to that girlfriend. I have a couple of more, but unfortunately we're out of time. But you are so good at your wine knowledge and you're even holding your glass almost perfectly over there. I just want to hold it like this. All the sommeliers are going to be mad at me. I'll just stick it back in the little (laughs) cradle, Steph. It'll be fine. There we go. (laughs) Cheers to you. Happy Red Wine Day, folks. Now, Bow Chill is here to help preserve your wine experience without the smell of plastic or metal. For more information and to pre-order yours, you can visit bowchill.com.